All right, so welcome back to some more Dragon Fable. Uh, last time the quest was a little bit annoying, and it took a long time. So hopefully the game is going to go a little bit easier on me today. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, soul scrying. Okay. So, Jason's sister, Diana, is was Serenity. She was the one who stopped him 600 years ago and made sure she wouldn't be around to stop him again. Does she kill? He killed her. And no one has come back from being consumed by the Shadow Cape except one. Jason. But armies of darkness creatures had been attacking unlucky towns in his name for years before he returned. So why did they attack? Fuck. Come again. The last page of Dyer, Serenity's diary, was written after escaping the uh, cultists at work here. The only thing in Jason's sarcophagus was his final mask, surrounded by the shadow. Somehow she at least one of the somehow she and at least one of the cultists escaped Castle Astromo with a mask despite her potion to the t to forget. And the cultists have been raging wars in Jason's name since then. Think of it, Knight. When was the first unlucky invasion on Falcon Reach? Was it before or after Serenity came to the inn? It was... It was after she came to town. I'm sure of it, but... But it was Zorbak who was behind the first war. Then we have a little blue fair boulder question. I haven't seen Zorbak for years. He had a house by the necropolis and the place in Moonridge. Both of them had uh, deserted. I checked those a few other places when Serenity first disappeared. The guardians in Falconreach tried to keep tabs on a few of the local troublemakers. They might have a record of this other hiding place. The door to the Falkreach Guardian Tower has been locked for years. Why do you think we need to use the front door? We're gonna break in. That was easy. Oh. Uh. Come on, grab my hand. Hmm. Let's take all our fingers. <laughs> Make it drop it. Okay, so if they're keeping tabs on Zorbak, then the records uh, were probably kept in the library. What? What? Okay. This is weird. Uh, do you hear us ever knock? Oh, Zorbak. <laughs> what you doing? Zorbak, have you have you been living in the Falcon Age Guardian Tower? It's not like you fools have been using it. I put up a sign locked to the door, and the stupid guardians have never have been standing watch for me for years. Well why? The new Management and the necropolis was a little too insistent about me joining the staff. That brat is dark, even for me. Y you getting iced and a whole anti-magic movement arising hasn't been too great for necromantic real estate either. So yeah, thanks for that hero. Yeah, so sorry to inconvenience you. Meh, I moved into the uh, last place anyone would look for me, and now the last, now, oh my fucking god, um, would look for me, and now the last people I want to see have found me. What do you fools want? She's a bit angry about that, again, called a fool, oh god. <laughs> the best undead attack on Falcon Reach. Why were you putting masks on the undead? Put me down. Throw them out the window. Uh, come on, we need help, his help, <laughs> fine, 
As far as I'm concerned, he's a monster. If he's not going to help, then it's my duty to exterminate him. Eh, relax, Red. Better than have tried and failed. Now, which of Azen are you talking about? There have been so many. The very first one, Zorbak. I caught you in the woods collecting broken hockey masks before the dead would destroy your attack. Uh, so just because I'm collecting broken trinkets from attacking undead, you assume that I'm being the attack behind the attack? Typical hero. Typical. Zorbak, so were you behind the attack? Of course I was. <laughs> if you're behind the undead evasion, how did the cultists fit in? Meh, what cultists? Gonna shoot him. Let me see. The grapple is shooting ID expired. Council of smart people. Man, that organization gone downhill. Here we go. Dark cultists. You're a member of the cultists? Of course. Who else was going to keep an eye on Valkyrie Chand? Blondie for them. Gonna stab him. <laughs> and who do you think made sure that all their attacking armies were filled with pushovers? I mean, honestly, trees throwing squirrels? So I got to the chase. Meh. Years and years ago, back when you were still behind the were, were still wet behind the ears here, uh, three slightly chewed dark cultists and Blondie showed up on my doorstep. They wanted to help pulling their boss from the shadows or making Blondie remember. Whatever. How do you bake a cake or something? <laughs> and you join them? I wanted... <laughs> I still wanted that cape. It's a direct link to the darkness realm, bones and zombies. Uh, that's all solid, physical necromancy. That cape. That cape it's souls and essence I want. Uh, the only mortal who could control it, though, was swallowed up by it in his coffin. Oh, uh, so, oh, I get it. I'm not sure if it's the mass of Jason made a deal with the darkness, and that the only way I was going to find out was getting on the good side of the cultists. I convinced him that the only way to bring that enigmatic back, uh, there was some evil artifact collection thing. Which actually worked. Then I had him put Blondie in the inn and said that I would be the spy in Falcon Reach. Meh. An evasion every once in a while. Sent in a report saying Blondie was still blonde. And enough um, contract for me to scry on the cultists. Then you had to get frozen and get stuck in hiding there. Wait, scrying? You can spy on the cultists? I did, but since Blondie stopped baking and started slicing, nah. Uh, we need to know more about the cultists and Valtrith. Show us how to scry for them, Zorbak. If you mess up, I will see you, and you won't like it. Show us. Meh. It's your funeral if it catches you. Not even I'm amused by the prospect, prospect but uh, you can use this bio beast. Claw and focus, and let's see. This ancient darkness scroll has the runes you need to strive for the cultist, and the new thing in charge. The runes will glow in a specific order, and you have to activate them in the same order until the detector reads Meh, blood red. With every mistake, you risk the scrying being detected. If you run out of chances, well, then you're definitely going to be caught. The more you manage to flub your way through the runes, correctly, the more chances you before you get your fuck. Um, meh, good luck. I have zero confidence in you. Um, don't risk it. I'm gonna. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello. Oh. What? I didn't even notice. I don't even know this this one glowing. <laughs> okay.
What? I didn't even see the first one glow. I'm not joking. There you go. I didn't even see it show up. I don't know why. I was looking as well. Maybe I just missed it. This is going to go well. Okay. I got that one. Oh, it's gonna get pretty hard. What happened? Did I do it wrong? Oh, that's quite creepy. I don't know about you. It pretty much turned into a zombie. Okay. <laughs> nice attempt at jump scare. Alright, stop it. You've already endangered us enough. You amateurs, do you want to bring that directly to your precious Falcon Reach? It's learning it's trying to make more we should go see how ash repairs are coming suckers only in for none of the exposure oh dear it's trying to make small wait it's trying to make more. Okay, so I guess that's what she was doing. It's kind of weird to think if Zorbak is evil or just like a nice person. He's always helping us. Then again, we did threaten him, so he had no choice really. Um, still, eel. Okay. Um, the dark, the dark night war. I think I'm gonna leave this on here. Um, I have found this quest is going to be extra long, and I don't really like going past uh, half an hour for videos, so, um, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, get it right. <laughs> I'll try and get some longer videos out, but at the end of the day, um, I sometimes think it's good to get out, like, a video per level, unless the level is too short, because it generally keeps the series in a good order. And it gets more videos out on the series, which I think is important because, as I said, it will come to an end soon. Well, I've still got like a hundred more parts. Like, it's weird to think I'm on part 40. And how th far through the book are we? We are... We've still got about five times what we've already done. <laughs> so, I'm assuming, like... 150 almost parts, maybe around there, somewhere. So it's definitely going to be a long book. Uh, but still, it, it'll help it last a bit longer. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next part. Bye-bye.